Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise, and this is the continuation video of solving previous year university question paper. That is November 2022 financial management. In that, we are solving section B five mark questions and section C ten mark questions. Okay, you can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to solve the fourth one. That is Gordon's model under dividend policy. Now, let's get into the video. See the problem. The following data relates to Y Limited. Earnings per share rupees 14. That is E. E refers to earnings per share. And capitalization rate 15 percentage. That is K. K means capitalization rate. And the next one rate of return. That is R. 20 percentage. Okay. So these are the three important informations given in the problem. With this information, they are asking us to calculate market price per share under Gordon's model, if retention is 40 percentage, 60 percentage and 20 percentage. Okay, now let's see the solution. See the solution. They are asking us to calculate market price per share under Gordon's model. Okay, what is the formula for that? Market price M is equal to D divided by K minus G. Okay, so here they have given in the problem, they have given E earnings per share 14 rupees k that is capitalization rate 15 percentage r that is rate of return 20 percentage okay with this information they are asking us to find out market price per share if the retention is 40 percentage 60 percentage and 20 percentage so here we have three different cases okay according to that we need to calculate market price look at the first one the retention is 40 percentage no the rest is 60% is payout. See the second one. 60% retention. The remaining 40 payout. The C. 20% retention. The remaining 80 payout. Okay. So now we are going to see the formula. So what is the formula for market price? D divided by K minus G. Okay. So what is D? D refers to dividend. So there is a formula to find out dividend. So D is equal to earnings per share into payout. So, earning per share into payout. This is the formula to find out D. Because we have different proportion of payout for three different cases. No. Accordingly, we are going to calculate D first. Okay. See the first calculation. D is equal to earnings. How much earnings? 14 rupees. No. So, 14 rupees into payout is 60 percentage. So, dividend is 8.4. For the first case, see the second case, 40 percentage payout, no. So, D is equal to E, E is 14 rupees, 14 into 40 percentage. What is the answer? 5.6, this is D. For the first case, 8.4, for the second case, 5.6, this is D, dividend. For the third case, D is equal to rupees 14, earnings per share 14 into Payout ratio 80 percentage no. So answer rupees 11.2. This is D. Okay, we have calculated D for three different cases. The next one K. K refers to what? Capitalization rate 15 percent which is given in the problem. Okay. And the next one G. G refers to what? Growth rate. So there is a formula to find out G. What is the formula? G is equal to B into R. So, B refers to retention. R refers to rate of return. So, B means retention. No. Here we have three different cases. For the first case, retention is 40 percentage. For the second case, retention is 60 percentage. For the third case, retention is 20 percentage. Accordingly, we can calculate G. For the first case, C. G is equal to B into R. So, B refers to what? Retention 40 percentage into R. R refers to what rate of return 20 percentage. So, what is the answer? 0 0.08 into percentage. No, into 100. You will be getting 8 percentage. This is G growth rate according to the first case. See the second case G into B into R. So, B refers to what retention. Retention rate is 60 percentage. So, 60 percentage into R refers to what? Rate of return, 20 percentage. So, what is the answer? 
point six into point two, you will be getting twelve percentage into hundred. Point six into point two into hundred, you will be getting twelve percentage. For the next one, third case, G into B into G is equal to B into R. So B, how much twenty percentage? No. So twenty percentage into R. Twenty percentage. So what is the answer? Point two into point two is equal to point zero four into hundred. You'll be getting four percentage. So this is G according to the third case. Okay. Now we got D, G, and K is given in the problem. Fifteen percentage. Now we can substitute this formula to find out market price per share according to three different cases. See the first one. Yam is equal to D divided by K minus G. So what is D dividend? Eight rupees forty five. No, so eight point four divided by K. K refers to what? Fifteen percentage, right? Okay. So fifteen percentage minus G. G refers to what? Growth rate. Eight percentage. So the answer is eight point four divided by seven percentage. What is the answer? One hundred and twenty rupees. So this is the market price per share according to the first case. In the same way, we are going to find out the market price for second case and third case. What is the formula? D divided by K minus G. So what is D? Dividend is five rupees sixty pence. So five point six divided by K same fifteen percentage. Fifteen percentage minus G. Twelve percentage is equal to five point six divided by three percentage. What is the answer? Market price rupees one eighty six point six seven. This is the market price according to the second case. In the same way for the third one, so market price per share is equal to dividend divided by K minus G. Okay, so how much D dividend is eleven rupees twenty pence. So eleven point two divided by K fifteen percentage minus G four percentage. So what is the answer? Eleven point two divided by eleven percentage. So what is the answer? Rupees hundred and one point eight two. This is the market price per share according to third case. Okay. So this is the way to calculate market price per share under Gordon's model if the retention is forty percentage, sixty percentage, and Twenty percentage. Okay. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you.